Alrighty gang, welcome back to more Trails of Cold Steel. We just got done defeating an enemy, uh, a tank in Factory 1. We just got done fighting a lot of things. We got done finding a cat. We fought some Hydras. And now we are here, probably about to burn up if we don't run. We did it. Man, that hunk of metal didn't even go down that easily. Go down that gently. There we go. You guys are really something else. I can't believe you actually beat that thing. I thought I recognized that uniform. You must be those students from the military academy. Oh, man. Thank goodness everyone's all right. Mission complete? It does look that way. Are you all right? Uh-oh. The military road. Oh, look who it is. Captain Claire. The military railway police. I'm relieved that none of you seem to be seriously injured. Please leave this to us and evacuate the building at once. What do you mean? This factory contains classified military information and materials. Only authorized personnel are permitted to enter. No exceptions, not even for the daughter of the Ryanford family. That's kind of head ass considering I just saved your personnel. Can't say I'm happy about this, but well, she does have a point. We'll leave things here to the railway military police. Hey, <laughs> thank you. Please show them out immediately. And make sure to treat them courteously. Give special attention to the injured. Yup. Damn it. Claire showed up. Real quick. With the railway military police on the scene, the situation at the factory was under control in no time. They swept through, clearing out the remaining archaisms, archaisms, archisms, and extinguishing the fires, bringing an end to the incident. All right, guys. It looks like everything should be all right now. Sounds like all the people who were inside are safe, at least. The railway military police have earned their reputation. Agreed. I certainly have a new found appreciation for their capabilities. Though I suppose I should have expected no less from an organization under the Chancellor's direct control. Huh. All's well that ends well, I guess. But still, this has a terrorist signature all over it. Sure seems that motherfucking way. Don't know why they wouldn't show up in person, though. Makes me wonder what they were trying to accomplish here. I'm having that looked into as we speak. Sarah? Nope. RMP. Captain Claire. Thank you for all your help, Captain. Likewise. Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks for your quick thinking. None of the personnel were critically injured. Glad to pitch in while we could. We're just happy to know that all the people inside made it out safely. As am I. That said, it doesn't excuse your actions. Nani? Huh? It was fortunate you were able to defeat the archi archism without backup, but I don't appreciate that you ran in there without waiting for us to arrive. Not only does the faction factory contain confidential information, you yourselves could have been seriously hurt or worse. But try to gain an understanding of the crisis unfolding here, then do your best to stay out of it. That's what I told you last night, and it seems like it didn't take it. I'm telling you again. Huh? <laughs> well, talk about a critic. <laughs> Well, she's not wrong. Oh my God, dude. I realize that, but I'm afraid I can't turn a blind eye to it, especially not when lives are on the line. What? Uh, if we had the power to say someone and we don't use it to do that, what kind of people would that make us? That's why even if you reprimand me, I won't regret us doing what we did. Damn right. Damn Skippy. Hey, good job that you saved those people, but you wasn't supposed to save those people. Huh? <laughs> what? Y'all got here late and it would have been too late. It would have been too late. Very well then, huh? Personally, no one was gravely injured, so I'm willing to overlook your rashness this time. But I suggest, ex I suggest exercising a little more caution. Do I make myself clear? Uh, yes, ma'am. Look at you getting all tongue-tied, lover boy. You falling for her charms. Glare. I told you it's not like that. 
Captain, do we have any idea where that archasm, 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 orgasm came from? The terrorists may be the prime suspect, but we didn't see any of them inside. Come to think of it, we were wondering the same thing, so we did a little digging around. And it seems they were brought into the factory in shipping containers. Not just recently, either over three months ago. Damn. That's funny. If you guys remember um, the army base, we talked to some dude on the port and he was like, I don't remember ordering these containers. That would mean they've been sitting in the factory since late June, back when we went into the North Highlands. And roughly a month before the Imperial Liberation Front announced themselves to the world in Heimdall. To be honest, we neglected to consider the possibility ourselves. Unbelievable. So today's incident was planned that far in advance? It certainly appears that way. But compared to the others, we still haven't turned up much on them. I suspect he was responsible for planning what happened here. You're talking about C, right? Isn't that the guy you fought in the capital? That's him. He was pretty tough. Nah, he, we gave him indigestion. And he called it quits. He was like, you know what? I'm gonna go grab some Pepto-Bismol real quick. I'm gonna let y'all off with a warning. We're gonna say, I won. What are you talking about? You won. We were burning you a lot. I won. That's how C saw it. C saw it as a victory, even though he was about to die to indigestion. <laughs> Exceptional strength and a calculating intellect. It looks like we're up against a real beast. It seems so. We're, we're going to need to remain vigilant going forward. But for now, you can leave things here to us. I suggest you get back to your field stu- Wait a minute. Captain Clear, what is it? Is something wrong? There's no sign of the provincial army. By now, they should be well aware of what happened here. I can't believe I got him. I forgot about him. Oh, no. Wait, so what are you saying? Why is this serious music playing right now, Claire? Captain Claire! We got trouble at the mine. It's been hit by the terrorists. They trying to get that materials out of there or what? I feared as much. All units withdraw. We're heading into the iron mine. Send a message to the HQ. I need 12 companies from the surrounding area there inside of them. Two hours. Uh, I need them now. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What's going on? I'm not sure, but from the sound of things, the mine we were in yesterday was attacked by the terrorists. Oh, no, the miners. Sounds like we better shake a leg. Let's get our wiggle on, dick. <laughs> All right, there's a book here. All right, where's the book? Is it just me or did those soldiers all seem pretty on edge, bro? You don't think there's something else going on, do you? I gotta be overthinking things, right? I feel like I should pitch in and help clean the place up, but we're not allowed to go inside, so I guess I should just be getting back to my real job. I guess I should just quit streaming now. Still, everyone who got hurt is being attended to so it looks like everything's gonna be okay all of the injured have been taken away to receive medical attention one silver lining is that none of them were gravely injured so we got yeah 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 we got you to thank for that looks like it's all over what a relief that was terrifying it looks like we owe a lot of the you know the railway military police little did they know all they do was show up they didn't really do anything. Sharon! What you doing out here? Why, hello everyone. Sharon, what are you doing here? I came to see how you were all doing. I was worried you may have been injured. I brought a number of Rhineford Company products with me just in case. If you need anything, let me know. It's as if she already knows we're going to their iron mine. Why does she always have to be this way? Now, now, this isn't really the time to be arguing. Why can I shop with her? Yo, what is this? She got anything unique I need to grab? I'm gonna buy this for you, girl. Wait, I'm not gonna buy it because the evasion, the evasion would probably go down. Who would need this is Reen. Oh yeah, dude, oh my God. That's freaking ter that's terrible.
terrifying how low his defense was for just now. Well, that's probably what gave him the evasion, right? Yep. Yep, we'll take the evasion. Also, we have him on Raven right now for his master courts. He should actually be on... We want Rain to be doing work. We want him to be on Falco. If he's on Falco, he gets that. Zeus Gym. All right, here we go. All right, no new. Mm, I thought for some reason there'd be a new master chords here. EP charge. We got plenty of EP charges. We got all the money. So we need to go to we need to go upstairs. Oh no! I can't go to I can't go up. Oh, am I locked out of this? Ah, oh, I think I'm locked out of getting that. Yikes. Alright, I don't think I can get the book. Whatever book that was, I can't get it. We gotta go to the mine. Ugh, every minute we spend here, things are getting worse for the miners. Stay calm, Elisa. Yeah, the railway military police are on their way, after all. I'm worried that a cutscene is just gonna interrupt us. trying to look at what's going on. Alright. Alright, we don't need to catch any more fish. But, man, if terrorists really were planning to blow up the mine, it would shake the very foundations of the Empire. Oh. A dangerous foe! Stay on guard! A dangerous foe! Oh my god! It's not like we fought it several times and won. It's going down. It's going down. It's going down, y'all. It's going down. It's going down. We gotta go further into the mine this time. What the hell? Damn. Who's smoking out here, bro? This is awful. Smoke's pouring all, all over the place. I can't see too far like or I can't see too far like this. Did the terrorist set fire to something? Looks like the fire's been put out. But something still seems off. So the terrorists decided to strike here rather than the military factory. We over there by the entrance. Provincial army. We're gonna have to beat up some prov provincial thugs? Looks like the entrance is completely blocked off too. Let's go take a closer look. Aw, oh, man. The piano in this song reminds me of a track from uh, Zelda, Link to the Past. The terrorists have complete control of the mine. They've taken the miners hostage. Any attempt to enter the mine may put their lives in jeopardy. Oh my God. And the provincial isn't, you tell me y'all is just blocking it off and not doing nothing about it. What is wrong with y'all? And that's why you're standing out here twiddling your thumbs without even attempting to negotiate with them? They clearly have an objective in mind here. We can allow them to buy any further time. 
It looks like a pretty heated argument. So the terrorists have taken over the mine. And as the first ones on the scene, the provincial army has taken it up upon themselves and set up a blockade. Oh. Or at least that's what it looks like at first glance. But why? Man, this is suspicious. Very suspicious. The provincial army is too well prepared. No matter how you look at this, they gotta be in on it. You can't be serious in on it. The terrorists set off some kind of explosion in there. Look at all this smoke pouring out. That's what they want you to think. But that doesn't look like smoke from a fire, from a fire to me. They're probably using smoke grenades. Smoke grenades? If that's true, that means the provincial army has some other reason for blocking the mine. They're trying to get that loot. Maybe something to do with the Rhineford's first factory. That's right, the railway military police were investigating the first factory too, weren't they? That's what Captain Clear said. And that makes the timing of all this suspicious. Almost like there's something they're trying to hide. And that means they sealed the mine to give them time to dispose of it. Makes a bit, makes a fair bit of sense if you think about it. But what could they be trying to hide? What's down there? No way to say for sure for now. What I can say though, is that it's pretty likely that miners are in danger. We need to find some way to help them if we can. Let's return to Rower for now, okay. We need to think carefully about what to do next. Elisa. All right, if we're going in, it's better to have a plan. All right, so that's gonna be the final dungeon. Not the final dungeon, but the dungeon for this area. Well, to start with, we need to work out exactly what's going on here. If it's true that the terrorists are working with the noble faction, then it seems likely their aim is to eliminate the evidence of whatever they've been hiding in the first factory. But did they really have to go this far? The Iron Mine is owned by His Majesty the Emperor himself, right? That's right. The province of Nortia is tasked with managing it while Rhineford mines, refines, and processes the iron. And iron is the single most vital natural resource to this nation's continued survival. If this isn't resolved quickly, it's going to deal a heavy blow to the entire country, including the nobles themselves. Damn. So I guess the question is just whether the noble faction and the terrorists realize that or not. Sounds to me like they're a pretty divided bunch as it is. Yep. The terrorists seem like they're basically all commoners too. They're only cooperating because they both see the Chancellor as a common enemy. And if that's the case, it seems pretty likely that what they're doing here is related to that somehow. Yo, he's going down, dude. Sounds like someone started the party without me. Whoa, is that Angie? Angie, you trying to join the party? You trying to get in the, you trying to get in on this? Angelica? You came too, George? Angelica? Yo, figured you'd show up eventually. What's your cousin, Dill? What's your cousin, Tommy? <laughs> Well, we had to test the sidecar, obviously. This bike is just full of surprises. You made the trip to Ruhr in seven hours. So, speed-wise, we're looking great. Comfort, though, we're gonna have to tweak a few things. I swear, you two never change. Kinda figured Toho wouldn't be able to make it, too. Yeah, she's working on gathering a boatload of information, though. She said she'd be in touch if she finds anything out. Well, <laughs> that's reassuring, at least. Um, could someone tell me what's going on? You seem to be hot on the trail of something, but I'm not sure it's the same thing we're investigating. Does this have something to do with those family affairs you told me you were worried about? Yeah, it does. I had some nagging suspicions about it. Unfortunately, my hunch turned out to be right on the money. Hold on. Isn't the director of the first factory... Rogner. My dear Uncle Heidel Rogner, yeah. Seems like it might do us both some good to swap info. How about it? Hey, what up, Rogner? Now let's find a better place to talk. Now we can talk right here in front of the open. Ain't nobody gonna care. Nobody listens. The kids. They're dumping iron <laughs> onto the black market? Damn. Word? Yeah. The amount of steel they're producing doesn't quite match up with the amount of iron ore being mined. That's been the case for quite a few years now. I've been punching my microphone, so I apologize. 
Officially, the reason given is that the purity of the ore being mined is lower now than it used to be. But if you look at what's coming out of the mine, there's no evidence of that. Well, that would explain why the figures don't add up. And because they were feeding the raw iron onto the black market rather than the finished steel... That makes it a lot harder to notice when a little goes missing here and there. Man, Toa put all the pieces together on her own? I'd expect no less from my beloved Toa. She poured over everything. Reinford's yearly sales figures, government reports of the mine's productivity, you name it. That's how she picked up on the discrepancy. She's really something else. Toy, when Iron do you ore sleep? being sold off the black market, accounting sheets that don't add up. George, how much iron ore is unaccounted for, roughly speaking? Do you know? Assuming for a moment that all the missing iron was refined into steel, how much steel would we be looking at? This is just a bit of speculative math on my part, but I'd say somewhere in the neighborhood of 100,000 Torum, which is enough to build 2,000 oxen tanks. The 2,000? 2,000? That's practically an army. That is an army! The Saxon iron mine is a pillar of the Empire's economy. The amount of iron they pull out of there is almost ridiculous. Even if you pocket a small amount every year, it's going to add up to a lot of iron real quick. But what are they planning to do with all of it? Start a war, motherfucker. Is the noble faction trying to make their own tanks in secret? Wow. They couldn't even if they wanted to. Only the second factory has the knowledge and equipment to make tanks. Yeah, right. And not only does the second factory have close ties with the Imperial Army, it also leans toward the reformist faction. You really think they wouldn't know how to make tanks? You need all kinds of complicated technology to make even a basic tank. It's not as simple as just grabbing some steel, some blueprints, and some grease and getting to work. So what does that leave them? Selling the iron to another country for profit? I don't know how likely that is. Seems like deals that big would be too easy to trace. Okay, so setting aside the ore itself for a moment. Now that you know this, and given what's happening in Ruhr right now, what were the two of you planning on doing? <laughs> oh. It's pretty simple. My uncle oversees the first factory, and the provincial army is blockading the mine. There's no way my family isn't involved. On the other side, you've got all the miners just trying to do their jobs who got dragged into this whole mess. I'm a Rogner. I might not be a great daughter, but there's no way I'm gonna let this go on without putting up a fight. Angie. You gonna join a team? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're seriously gonna go talk to your old man about this? I'm trying to get you to join the team, though. <laughs> Hell no. Like he'd even listen to a word I said. Same goes for the Provincial Army. I'd just be wasting my breath. That's why I'm planning on sorting out this mess myself. You gonna... Okay, so this is where uh, the solo game, Rogner's... The Rogner Way... Starring Angelica. You gotta play that game to understand what happens during the events of chapter six and seven, right? I used to work <laughs> part-time in the mine. I know the place like the back of my hand. As long as I can find my way inside, I think I can it's handle it. It's an action the RPG. Well is is actually pretty sick. Uh, I figured you'd say something like that. Honestly, does nothing phase you? In that case, I'd like to ask that you take us along. Uh, we can look at this as a test of how to best respond to a sudden crisis. Looking at it from that perspective, I think it fits neatly within the scope of our field study. You? Yeah, after hearing all that, I don't want to let them have their way. Agreed. I'm with Angelica here. My family's involved in this too. I feel like I have a duty to do something about it. Thanks. Truth be told, I was kind of hoping you'd back me up anyway. Whatever help you can give, I'll take it. <laughs> well, that's that. The next thing we need to consider is how to slip into the mine without the provincial army taking notice. Yo, is she gonna be in our party though? I'm At the very I'm least, Angie to... should be able to get the officer in charge to talk with her. That'll be hype. Uh, so, what, we sneak inside while she's distracting them? Of course. I don't know, that sounds a little overly simplistic to work. Leave finding our way in to me. If anyone's good at cutting red tape, it's my mother. Maybe she could help us out. She could, but would she? 
Well, if you think so. All right, I'll leave securing an alternate route to you then. For now, I'm gonna see if I can find out anything else about my family's or the Provincial Army's involvement here. George, give Toa a call and see if you can find out what the Imperial government is doing about all this. Gotcha. I'll see if I can turn up any machinery that might be useful too. <laughs> this is starting to feel like last year's field studies all over again. Last year? Oh yeah, he was there last year. I was about to say, like, what? Last year? We were glad to have George, Angelica, and Toy backing us up. And as our first order of business, we went to go see Chairman Irina. Me, myself, and Irina. We should get going too. Your mother should be back at the uh, headquarters by now, right? Shannon said she'd be in around noon. We can always just access at the reception desk though. Yeah. Alright, I feel like this every field study is destined to end up like this. I love the sense of I, I look whoa, what the heck? I guess this is where she's at right now, but okay. We needed to come here to pick up a book, right? Terrorist? It has to be the Imperial Liberation Front again, right? Why would they ever attack the mine of all places? Yo, first it was Heimdall, and then the conference in Crossbell, and now the Iron Mine. They must be insane! Frega, it's terrible what happened over, over at the mine, but in times like this, it's important to stay calm. Hey, Red Moon Rose, Chapter 13. We just received word that there was a terrorist attack. The specifics of what happened are still under investigation, but in the meantime, I ask that you remain calm. Calm and ready. Can I talk to this guy? Long time no see, George. Jorge, what are you doing here, Jorge? Please tell me you finally decided to transfer. Looks like it took you long enough. Sorry, but that's not why I'm here. It's actually something I'd like to borrow, and I need it soon. Hurry up and tell us then. Anything you need, we'll get it for you. Really? Oh man, this makes this easier. Well, you know that the thing the professor was developing, the high-powered one, can I borrow that in secret now? In secret now? You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Toe's looking into whatever the government's doing. I'll be looking for any sort of machine. All we can do is trust her. As soon as we're ready to enter the mine, we should find some place to meet up. All right, cool. Jorge is supposed to come back here after he graduates from Thoris. He's so good, even the professors here are amazed by him. And he's been that way since he was a little kid. Anyway, the deal was that he'd graduate from Thoris and then come home. But it seems like he's got an awful lot to deal with over there. Guys like him will always get themselves into trouble. Especially with friends like you. <laughs> Damn. It's really powerful, yeah, but it's still not finished. But that's besides the point. The professor would lecture me to death if they found out. And I'm not trying to get lectured. <laughs> Imagine like you did something to save the world, but you get fired from your job. <laughs> like damn, you, we can't have we can't have you here no more. Uh we got the book. Was there anything else we can do right now? Guys. Terrorist? You can't be serious. RF related shares are gonna take a dive. Alright, so we're gonna save our game before we head in there. So we can't get like any recipes, no new recipes. Oh yeah, we didn't report that quest, did we? So you defeated a monster in the highway to the south, did you? Not too shabby for students. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. Here's your reward. Sepith mask, that's all you get? That's not generous. AK is not generous, bro. Y'all could have afforded at least times 10 that amount. Boom, 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 boom. Save the game. 
Whew. What you gonna do? Time to move in. Excuse me, but can I see some ID? Oh, you're the students from Thor's. Screw you, dude. Actually, try ID. Alyssa, you're right. Yes, I was so worried when I heard you left the city. You're talking about the trouble at the mine, right? Actually, I was hoping to talk with Mother about that. Is she in her office? She returned just a short while ago. Would you like me to set up an appointment? I'm her daughter. <laughs> nah, I ain't got to set up no goddamn appointment. Understood. She says she can see you right now, though she, can, she can't spare more than a few minutes. If you want to head up right now, she's waiting for you in the office. We actually get to talk to Irina. All right, floor 23. Right. Dip -a -dip -a -dip -a. Why do I get the feeling Sharon's gonna be right there to welcome us? You can count on it. Dum -ba -dum -bum -bum. Do not no longer be able to walk around Roar and sit in the surrounding area. Uh-oh. Well, we already made a save, so. Any in incomplete quest in Roar will expire. Well, let's step away. Did we complete everything? I'm pretty sure we did. Yep. Shots fired. Yep. So we got four AP for each one, four eight twelve. We're good. All right, let's get it. Traveling to the 23rd floor. Let's get it. 6.08 p.m. I'm feeling a little bit hungry. I'm trying to eat some chicken. I'm trying to eat something tonight. What y'all trying to eat? I'm trying to eat some chicken. Some buffalo chicken. Maybe with a little bit of pineapple. Welcome back, everyone. I've been waiting for of you. Of course. You sold us weapons. You tucked us in. You trying to give us special massages and you're like teleportating everywhere. Teleporting. Like the rising of the sun. I see how it is. You're taking Reinford's side again, huh? <laughs> as long as I wear this uniform, I'm simply a humble maid of the Reinford household. You, the chairman and Master Gwyn are all deeply important to me. Thanks, I think. Show us in then. Of course. Please follow me. She make too much money to not be at this job. <laughs> Sharon's like, man, I make too much money to be leaving. Bring no. them in. Bring As them in. Wish. She's just already ready. Mother, we need to see you. Excuse us. Unless you just came in here, I'm a bad bitch. And you gotta listen to me. I got my I hands up on my hip. I canceling our dinner plans last night. But it's looking unlikely I'll be able to join you tonight either. No, oh, that's fine. We understand. It's hardly surprising given the current circumstances. I'm not sure what's keeping you so busy, considering you haven't even managed to fulfill one of your most basic duties. <clears throat> my lady, the miners who work at Saxon are employees of this company. With the Provincial Army barricading the mine and refusing to budge, those miners are at the mercy of the terrorists. I assume you've issued a formal objection to Marquis Rogner? Marquis. Not on behalf of the company, no. It sounds like Director Heidel Rogner of the First Factory has requested something be done as a formality, but nothing more. That's it? Oh, The whoa. First Factory has been dumping huge amounts of ore into the black market for years now. Don't even try and tell me you haven't noticed it. Of course I've noticed. Being unable to bring the first factory in line allowed that to happen, and that's my failure, I admit. But think, if we assume the terrorists aren't acting alone here, what good would it do to issue an objection to Marquis Rogner? Well... There are many possible outcomes to this crisis, and we must be prepared for all of them. For example, we need to consider the possibility that the terrorists may set off an explosive in the mine. And how to respond to that? This is a global company. Measures will need to be put in place to protect stock prices. 
taking Crossbell into account, too. <clears throat> She's got a point. Anything that affects the Reinford Company is gonna indirectly affect a lot of people's lives. Correct. The Reinford Group is its own entity with its own role to fill. And I have mine as chairman. The Provincial Army and the RMP are acting in accordance with their purpose. And one might even say the same of the terrorists. Oof. Action with a purpose. That's what keeps the world in motion. So tell me, what's your purpose? To beat this game before fighting three houses. Yeah, that's my purpose. Come on, Irina. Uh, I'm, I mean, uh, to save the world from devastation, to unite the people within the, un the nation. No? That doesn't work either, Mom? All right. I, um... Uh... Well... To help people? <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, I suggest you leave. Damn! I expect the explosion at the military factory is the extent of the damage the terrorists will cause here. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, I expect you to leave. Wow. I'll give you several additional tasks. I suggest you work on those for the remainder of the day. Hold and up. considering the situation here, I think it'd be best if you leave Ruhr tomorrow hold morning. Hold up, hold up. You have my permission as a sitting director on the Academy's board. But... Yeah, I don't think so. I'm not going to keep making the same mistakes anymore. Oh? All my life, I've turned a blind eye to what was going on right in front of me. I did it when you drove Grandfather out and took his position as chairman. And I did it when Father died and you let work become your life. All along, you've been working to build the company bigger and bigger, and all along, I just looked the other way. But in our field studies at Thor's, I've seen the imbalances and injustices of the world crop up over and over again. But even with that, I... And all of us, really, have to face that head on. And that's exactly what we've been doing. You asked what our purpose is. After six months at the Academy, that's my answer. <clears throat> well said. Yeah, I was going to say that, but I was just going to wait for, uh, you know, Alyssa to say that because that's her mom. I ain't trying to be disrespectful to Alyssa or her mom. But, uh, yeah, I already had that. So it wasn't my right to say it. I was going to say it first. No, nah, Alyssa had that. Agreed. That's why this time, I don't plan on backing down. You need to hear the truth, and I need to be the one to tell you. As your daughter, as your family, and above all, as someone who's watched the Reinford Company grow ever since I was a little girl. Mother, you're running this company the wrong way. My lady. <laughs> Can I assume you, in your infinite wisdom, are planning to tell me the correct way to run my company? Duh. Naturally. But I still need more experience before I can do that. I promise you, though, that by the time I graduate from the Academy, I'll show you how this company should be run. As someone who just might succeed you as the chairman someday, I should be able to do at least that much. Oh. That's a big task, homie. It's one thing to make a promise. You're gonna tell me how it's to run my business? To live up to it. Uh, that I? That I started? <laughs> Still, at least you're starting to see the bigger picture. Mother. Give it to her, Sharon. Give her the ultimate weapon. Certainly. Here, my lady. The car key. What's this? Some kind of key card? Correct. It opens the door to a passage that connects Ruhr City to the Iron Mine. Oh, that must be the mysterious... That must be the, um, where oh. that question mark door was. Well, we had got the signal one. The one signal, I guess. Wait. There's really a secret passage? The former chairman built it for use in case of an emergency. You'll find the entrance in the underground part of a maintenance room on the upper level of the city. Mm, if we use that passage... We should be able to completely avoid having to deal with the provincial army. I'm not going to say thanks. 
Right now, I just believe this is the best way to press forward. And I'm going to tell you why through actions, not words. Excuse us, Madam Chairman. We've learned a lot during our field studies, and we'll put it all to use to come out on top. You don't need to worry about us. <laughs> They've grown a lot in the last six months. It's been a pleasure to watch them. Surely it wouldn't hurt to acknowledge that Lady Elisa has grown too. She's still got a ways to go. Damn, okay. Still got a ways to go. If she wants <laughs> to take the mantle of the Reinford Company from me, she'll have to show me she's got what it takes. Anyway, it seems all our principal players have assembled. Can I ask you to do one more thing for me? Uh-oh. Certainly. I'm gonna need you to uh, be a boss fight for the kids. Alyssa's Escraft. Rosetta Errol was strengthened to become Judgment Errol. After our meeting, we, we contacted Angelica and George to see if they would join our party. Unfortunately, George could not make the party because he ate a burger that gave him poisoning. Why? We don't know. I guess he was eating a burger off the ground he found. Ra he, he, he's just... He's, he's disgusting. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Man, please give me Angelica in my party, please. Please give me Ange. Why is George here, bro? He gonna be slinging ranches at people? Look at this pathway we found. Who would have thought there'd be an underground passage going all the way from Ruhr to the mine? Gwen really does think of everything. Oh, you know Elisa's grandfather? I've heard you two got along famously back when he was still living in Ruhr. He taught me all kinds of great stuff. How to pick up girls, <laughs> the best spots in the entertainment district, um, you know, the really important things in life. <laughs> It's not that I can't believe it, it's that I can. Too easily. I can only hope to sit and learn at the feet of the master one day. <laughs> Still, it's probably thanks to him that Angie didn't go any further off the rails than she did. <laughs> can't deny that. That's nothing to laugh about. I wonder if we'll seem as colorful to the first years when we're second years. So, you think this is gonna work? Hitting up the laptop. Right. Look, how, look, look how ta look how fast he's typing. He's hacking into MySpace right now. What is this thing? An orbital wave antenna? It's currently in development at the Institute of Technology, but I managed to convince them to let me borrow it. It emits directional orbital waves to widen the area where you can transmit and receive signals. That means you'll be able to use your Arcus unit's communication functionality even down here in the mine. Nice. That sounds pretty handy. You can do that? Yep. Toe is busy gathering information on what's going on across the Empire right now. And I'll be able to pass that info along to you while overseeing this operation. But if things get too dangerous, I'll give you the order to pull out, so make sure you keep the line open. Got it. It'll be nice to have some support. Well, if George is just a call away, we've got nothing to worry about. Okay. I think it's about time we got going. All right. And thanks again, everyone, for coming along. No problem. I've got my Arcus on me, so I should be able to hold my own in battle. Oh, I can hold my own. I don't need to join you, Scrubs. Really. Always room for one more with us. Your knowledge of the mind will really be invaluable. Please join my party. I'm looking forward to seeing you clean up with those Taito skills of yours. Please. Let's go! <laughs> she actually joined? Oh, let's get it! <laughs> hey, what you got? Yo, I was I was I was fully expecting to be disappointed, homie. I was fully expected to be disappointed. Oh here it goes. 
uh, uh, uh. Dragon kick. An explosive dragon kick from above. We got dragon boost. Zero impact. And... What's their master quartz? Emblem. Decreases damage received relative to how low HP is, really. What are she gets? Alright. Nice. We got your girl Angie. Oh, I never. Oh, damn it. What's her 18? Ooh, her strength is high. Okay. Volcanic rain. Her ATS is nothing, so I think I'm gonna get rid of volcanic rain. Start giving her some like. I'm gonna take that from you, homie. <laughs> we gonna we gonna see what happens here, buddy. Yeah, she's the new Laura. Yeah, she's the new Laura. So when's Tor? When, when is Toa gonna join the party, though? Real talk. <laughs> All right. Sure, it comes with twenty evasion. Jeez. I can give her shining or serific ring. You can get serific ring. You already have it. All right. She's got speed breaker. What else can we give her? Give her more speed. I like Speed Breaker, but... Give her a little bit more speed. Holy Breath. Give her Evade 1, maybe. Just need 20 more Evasion for her. Dude, she's gonna be moving up on people, just busting people up, dude. Attack 3. Strength and defense down 10% chance. Oh man. Alright, so he had that. Anything that inflicts status elements, maybe? Uh, Alright, what should I do with Crow here? Hmm, I don't know what I'm gonna give him. I do not know what I'm going to give him. Maybe you just sent. Give him sent. Hmm. She's just raw power, dude. Raw power. Battle boots. Dude. She gets 10 evasion from that by itself, which is nice. Hey man, who's trying to come up off the evergreen? <laughs> who's trying to come up off them evergreens, man? I should probably have something that reduces status elements, most likely. Hold on, man. Give her a still blue. He has 55 for a reason. I'm going to take your evergreen. She has the grill locket. All right. What we want to avoid is probably instant death, right? I'm just gonna give him instant death. Uh, now, you know what's a, a thing that really messes up? Faint. Faint really messes us up. It's 
Something that gives him more ATS would be good, actually. So maybe another Steel Blue. <laughs> yeah, let's just give him ATS. All right. Evergreen. Steel. Thank you very much. I, yeah, I can just give her the white blouse. Loses a little, that's a lot of defense you're losing, but hey. Nice. Just because. <laughs> all right, first of all, we're gonna get into a fight and I'm gonna see what she does and then we're gonna split the part. Here we go. Now look at this Digimon. My turn. Ooh, looks like this is. Sorry. Now's our chance. Oh wow, this is OD. My turn. Two zero arts. Good luck. I'll take care of this. Yeah. Go. Sorry. I'll try at least. Bum, 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 bum. You're freaking dead. You're all dead. Huh. Look at this unnecessariness. Like, damn! Is everybody okay? <laughs> I'm burning up. Angel's about to hit level five. Uh oh. That's gonna be fun. Alright. It's a long ass uh, pathway, dude. I'm in. <laughs> Gave him a one, two, no business. Chance. Time to shine. Time to shine. Let's look at her dragon kick. <laughs> I'm not holding back this time. All right, we didn't get to see this in the fight we fought her in. It's time. She literally dive kicks. Oh, she just dive kicks with a dragon, bro. <laughs> it is literally a dragon dive. 21 Sweet dreams pussy cats oh yeah dun, 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 dun. she just dive kicked on them boys <laughs> all right here we go hold up we're gonna save the game take a break and once we come back we're gonna be back with more cold steel dude <laughs>